ओम ज्ञानतिमीरंदनशलाखया चक्षुर्मिल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमो ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यशतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर <coughs> श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे <coughs> So Lord Kapila is continuing to explain about an attached householder. <clears throat> so, from the previous verse, we saw <clears throat> how first of all <clears throat> he becomes entrapped. <clears throat> in material attachments just like it is explained in the bhagavatam pumsam striya maituni bhavam etat tayo mitho hriday granthi rag atah gra kshetra sutapta vidya janasya mohoyam aham mameti the beginning of <clears throat> material attachment begins when there is an attraction between man and woman and when they become tied in the knot of sense gratification tayo mitho hriday granti ra then there is a not created and this not keeps on becoming more and more strong as the different objects of attachment keep on increasing atah graha kshetra suta apta vitte all these things becomes more and more and the person becomes tied in this material world so the beginning of the shackle is attraction to the opposite sex <clears throat> which binds the living entity in this material world so <clears throat> then further lord kapila had explained such a attached householder he is ready to do everything for his maintenance of family we see that even in the example of <coughs> ajamila how his brahmanical qualities completely deteriorated just for the sake of material maintenance of his family just to satisfy his various material desires brahmana is supposed to live a very simple life simple living and high thinking but when one gives up simple living and high thinking and he becomes attached to comfortable life it is very much possible that even a brahmana will lose his brahmanical qualities so 
all of us should be very careful. We are initiated as Brahmanas. But if we become, become attached to varieties of comforts of life and forget this principle of simple living, then there is a good possibility that our qualities of a Brahmana will deteriorate. And what will happen? So we see the example of Ajamila. Earlier he was very honest, very truthful. He would worship the Supreme Lord. But once his mind became diverted to enjoying material life, then all kinds of unwanted habits he became engaged in. Stealing, telling lies, gambling, all the varieties, completely lost his sadachar. This is the effect of one becoming attached to material comforts of life. So, in Krishna consciousness also, especially the grahasthas, should be very cautious that we don't become attached to material enjoyment. There will be no difference between us and karmis. If we also become attached to material enjoyment and material comforts of life, then we should be aware that slowly all these kinds of unwanted qualities will appear. And then somehow or other, You know, our whole idea will be how to maintain my family. So here it is said, diplomacy, politics, all these things will enter into our behavior. So somehow or other, we have to maintain some standard of life. And in order to maintain that, whatever we have to do, we will do. So then diplomacy will come, politics will come. And <clears throat> his whole life is in endeavoring hard how to avoid the miseries of life. How to avoid the miseries of life. How that is possible? By different kinds of material commodities. Material civilization has manufactured lot of counteraction for material miseries. Okay, you are feeling bored in the house, we require smartphones, we require television, counteracting material miseries. Isn't it? We require car, we require bungalows, so many things. So the whole material civilization which has developed, which is racing towards so-called development, is nothing but trying to counteract material miseries. So I was telling you that in the West, that recently I had been, They are so advanced in their material civilization, practically. I remember I was telling you that when I was in Delhi, and it is a cold season in Delhi, it is very difficult. In our Vrindavan Chandrode Mandir, we find during winter season, it becomes very difficult for devotees to get up and come for Mangalarati. Actually, 
if we spend energy in just counteracting those material miseries so much of time goes into that so much of energy goes into that so bhagavad gita advises better to tolerate them rather than spend time and energy in them counteracting them better to tolerate and continue with your spiritual life so <clears throat> it is not that when all those comforts of life are there then our problems are solved so devotees they were telling me <clears throat> that there in the western countries they have a system of centralized heating the house practically because many many months temperature will be zero or minus minus 1 minus 2 goes up to minus 10 in many places so they have a centralized heating and you don't know practically you don't come to understand outside temperature is so low when you are staying inside the building so we don't find such kind of technology in india still they have a very crude way of heating a room very uneven it is i remember because i stayed in very coldest of winters when there was a project coming up in delhi so it was in the coldest of the winters somewhere you know after december 20 25 it becomes very cold <clears throat> recently the devotee who has come from jaipur who is doing our wooden altar work he was telling me are prabhu yahan to acha khasa mausam hai udhar to char din se dhoop bhi nahi nikli hai from four days there is no sun and people are not doing their work not going out for their work so very difficult he was saying so in technology i was telling you it is very uneven so we had a kind of you know heater we put in the room and it is very uneven kind of heat which burns the body and practically in that sense if you see they just have some thermostat in the western countries and you cannot feel practically that it is uneven heat anywhere you go in that inside that building they maintain the temperature you see but then the devotee was telling me prabhu in spite of this still we find devotees are lazy so it's not that by counteracting those miseries that even though actually it is helpful but in spite of that our nature is so we become used to any kind of facilities and then he was telling pujaris who are staying just a little bit nearby they say prabhu mera room to garam hai mandir bhi garam hai lekin jo 500 meter mujhe chalna hai that is very cold because outside they cannot do anything if you have to go out so even just so much of facility that nice heating is available in their uh, you know own house and nice facilities in the temple but just 500 meter walking it is difficult for them nay prabhu bahut thand hai bahar nahi bhi nikal pa cannot come out you see so that means so much struggle is going on in this material world whole of this material civilization what we are doing is just to solve our different kinds of problems isn't it travel problems so much you can see so many motor cars and different kinds of things are being invented with speed and jet planes to everything so all this counteraction 
of the material miseries. Whole life goes into struggle with this. So this is a typical life of a attached householder. See, and then we see he secures money by committing violence here and there. And although he employs it in the service of his family, so he is doing all kinds of diplomacy, politics, falsehood. Kuta Dharmeshu it is called. But for himself, practically, he actually, even from the very beginning of his life, he eats only the remnants of whatever is left over by his family. It's a fact. The person who is working so hard for his family maintains them nicely and his family will never be grateful. My dear husband, you worked so hard. You were eating only two chapatis. Sometimes when it was only two chapatis left over, and you gave us full meal. Nobody will be. Material world is like that. You take very nice care of your family. Even in the end, they will say, what have you done? What have you done for me? Jo kiya hai, that was your duty. Isn't it? So actually he is making so much sacrifice. We see that everywhere. It is a fact. The person who is working hard for his family. If you go and meet him asking for a donation. Now many of you would have when we were doing this online campaign. Actually we would have realized this. Recently there was a family. So whom I had asked that why don't you donate something? Just 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Even that much people sometimes they think so much. And when I had been to Delhi, I met the same person. He had come with his family from Hubli to Delhi in the same flight. And they were going to Kashmir again in flight. Practically, they would have spent more than a lakh of rupees. More than a lakh of rupees just for a small enjoyment trip for their family. But when it comes to giving to the temple, you know, after four or five reminders also, they will not put even thousand rupees. You can imagine. How much a person works hard for his family? How much attachment a person has for his family. So that whatever he is earning, he has no problem in spending for their pleasure trips, for giving them this and that. Thousands of rupees they will be spending, people will be spending. And for himself, as we saw in the last words, even for food, he has to depend on the remnants. And exactly the opposite thing happens in his old age. This an attached householder never realizes. Whole life he has sacrificed so much for his family. And in the end, that same family, when he is unable to earn now, when he has become old, actually, if you see, as a gentleman, it is very simple. Whole life I maintained you, I maintained my children. I worked so hard day and night. You know, my mother used to tell me, Are beta, tujhe kya malum hai, tu ghar chhod kar ke chala gaya. You simply went away from the house. In the night when you were sleeping, I used to get up and put chadar on you because you are feeling cold. It's a fact. We take so much care of our children 
and it is generally normal we maintain them we work hard for them but this is also fact what bhagavatam is saying it's a cruel reality when the same person who worked so hard to maintain his family he was nicely respected everything but the moment he is no more an earning person then the family has no respect for him slowly all that respect is gone finished wife loses that respect children lose that respect they don't bother about him and he becomes practically unwanted in the house imagine so much he struggled hard to take care of his children his wife his family he struggled so hard eating only two chapatis sometime left over of their remnant and the same person when he has become old now he is neglected by his family so i had met one of the devotees in los angeles so he was telling me very unfortunate <coughs> that how sometimes their children they come to the west for earning good money and they are rich and they put their parents in old age homes in india can you imagine they put their parents in the old age home because cannot take care of parents i have my priority i have to go and settle in the western countries wife is also working she has no time and which wife would like to take care of in laws nobody is interested such a neglectful situation so in one of the lectures chanchala pati prabhu was telling that uh, he knows one family where the brothers would fight with each other and say are one month why i should take care of the parent you should take care so there are three four brothers and they are saying ki why more than one month you are sending parents to my house can you imagine this is the kind of the same person who struggled so hard for them he is no more he is unwanted in the house that is why vedic literatures knowing and understanding the reality of the world it says immediately after 50 years when a person retires he should do he should take vana prastha not depending on their children not depending on their children because he will lead a life of neglectful in the same house you can imagine the kind of pain a person will undergo so you're all very un- you know very, you, we're all very fortunate we don't have to undergo that kind of treatment because we are all dependent on the lord isn't it otherwise imagine you worked so hard for your family and then when your old age has come you have retired and now your children are earning they'll be wait waiting maybe some attachment is there but they'll be simply waiting and this fellow will die simply a burden isn't it so this is material life so what bhagavatam is saying it's a reality of what is happening in this material world so it is saying <clears throat> when he suffers reverses in his occupation he tries again and again to improve himself but when he is baffled in all attempts and is ruined he accepts money from others because of excessive greed so otherwise if a person had no such attachment for his family 
and all these things why he will take to all this kind of occupations which are filled with faults why would he take to all such kind of occupations falsehood but because he is so attached we see the example of ajamila in order to just maintain his family what all nonsense he did not do. did all kinds of nonsense and then does the unfortunate man unsuccessful in maintaining his family member is bereft of all beauty he loses all his charm so slowly because he is becoming old he tries so much and then his the same vigor the same vitality which he used to have is all gone he loses his charm in the same family he always thinks of his failure grieving very deeply and then <clears throat> seeing him unable to support them because time passes by as the time passes by the company will also say goodbye sir now you are 55 we are looking for young people and isn't it and then he is given retirement his wife and others do not treat him with the same respect as before even as miserly farmers do not accord the same treatment to their old and worn out oxen so the example is given that actually when the ox when the bull has become old and useless then he is not taken care so much nicely good uh, feed is not given to them somehow or other okay he is alive that is more than enough so this is the kind of treatment a person receives we find the same example vidura utilized to enlighten dhritarashtra he said that the people whom you were maintaining earlier now you are being maintained by them see people whom you were maintaining earlier now you are being maintained by them you are living a life like a dog you see eating only the remnants of the food given to you isn't it what do we give to the dog whatever is left over in the house actually that's a fact that is how the things are going on so he said that it is better you should give up your comforts of life living at the expenses of your children and go out for self realization so it was because of the endeavor of mahatma vidur that gandhari and dhritarashtra they became liberated from this material world so we see that example that actually in the old age one should not remain in the house being neglected by his family man so that is why at the age of 50 specially grahasthas they were required to take vana prastha they would not depend on their family people only sometime they come back otherwise they will be going to all different kinds of pilgrimages only leading a very simple life and practicing austerity so that they can advance in spiritual life that was the whole thing and in uh, bhagavatam we find prahlad maharaj is also giving the same instructions when his father asked him that what is the best kind of instructions you have learned so he said tat sadhu manye asur varya dehina he said that the best education which i feel is one should give up graha andakupam vanam gato yad hari maashreta one should give up 
the blind well in which one is living in this material world anyone who is living in this material world for sense enjoyment is actually living in graham andakupam why it is called andakupam is it is a blind well it is said that sometime it is covered by grass and external it looks like land no one can make out that actually it is a kupam it is a very deep well and when one falls in that his life is miserable because it is so deep now he has become so entangled very difficult to take him out and even if he is crying there is no one to hear it that is why it is called deep and dark well so he says one should give up such a family life because it is atma patam it is killing the self if one lives in such kind of environment actually it is killing the self because he cannot become self realized hitvatma patam hitva means one should simply give up and he should take shelter of the supreme lord hari ma shreta and the same thing prabhupad is saying here in today's purport also prabhupad is saying <coughs> it is judicious therefore to give up family attachment before one attains old age and take shelter of the supreme personality of godhead one should employ himself in the lord's service so that the supreme lord can take charge of him and he will not be neglected by his so called kinsmen so instead of taking shelter of his family people whom he had maintained one should take shelter of the supreme personality of god had so in that sense actually we are all very fortunate we should not take it very lightly the fortune which all of us have got we have given up our family and we have taken shelter of the supreme personality of god had so that we don't have to see all that kind of neglectful life which otherwise an attached householder has to undergo and see all those things and we will find in the verses which are coming up towards the end of his life what are the different kinds of uh, uh, miseries before his death comes in the old age different kinds of miseries such an attached householder has to undergo so that will be described by lord kapila in the coming up verse we'll stop with this granth rashi mat bhagavatam ki jay jagat guru shri prabhu pad ki jay